All right. Uh, here's my bodge wire. Uh, there's a via here to ground, and I took it over to pin 26. So 26 is now grounded. So let's put it back together and see if it works better. So the problem is I've got all these wires, all those wires, and all these wires, and I've got to figure out where they all go again. Oh, crud. Uh, maybe I need to mark them somehow. Well, I decided to test the uh, program counter all by itself. So it's on the breadboard here. And here it is. Um, I've got um, the uh, index um, pulse being driven off the 555 on the uh, breadboard here. So it is counting. And I have the uh, read set low, so I'm enabling the bus. And I have a bus monitor on here. And guess what? Everything is operating perfectly. <laughs> so, hmm. Let's speed it up here. Um, it's doing exactly what it's supposed to do. So that's good. So the uh, uh, program counter is doing what it's supposed to do. Uh, so I guess if there's any problem, either something is loading down the um, bus, or the um, there's still some problem with the uh, microstate machine. That's where my bet is. There's still some something funny going on there. We see that double pulse. I still haven't figured out why that double pulse is on there. So there must be a short or or something on that uh, on that board that's just doing something funny. Um, or there's a design error. Um, that's probably the most complicated board I've designed. Um, so we should take a closer look at that, but. Right now, I've given a clean bill of health to the new program counter. Okay, um, I have the uh, state machine and the clock uh, driving the state machine. That's the only thing I have running right now. And I have the uh, logic analyzer hooked up to various lines. Uh, so we'll take a look at those on the logic analyzer. And currently, it's just executing. Um, uh, op, op code zero zero, uh, which I have programmed as uh, uh, read the program counter, put it into I/O, and then uh, increment the PC counter. So we'll see if it's doing what I th think it's supposed to be doing. Okay, here's um, the um, uh, logic analyzer, and we're looking at uh, four different signals. Um, one of them is the PC increment. Um, one of them is, uh, no op. Um, so I have a line that it's not used. And when I want the state machine to do nothing, I have it execute a no op instruction and it toggles this line. Um, so it's easy for me to see the no ops being executed. Um, two IO, that means, uh, take the contents uh, of the bus and put it onto the uh, I.O. display, I.O. output. And then from PC is uh, take the program counter and put it on the bus, assert the bus. So we can see several things here. One is that uh, the PC increment is happening every so many instructions. And we can see that there's a lot of no ops. So there's really only two instructions and then 14 no ops. Um, and so that looks like it's about right. We can count these. Um, and so let's zoom in on a couple things here. So let's see here. Let's look at these two because they make sense. Um, no, these two make sense. Here we go. These two make sense. So we have um, the program counter being asserted onto the bus. So that's a from pulse. And then this is a to pulse. Um, and so the program counter should be clocked into the I.O. So that looks correct. Um, now what's going on here? Uh, this says also assert the program counter 
and then increment the program counter. That's well, kind of an odd thing to do. I don't know why this pulse is here. Um, maybe that I don't understand my opcodes. Could be that that's the default. I think um, from, no, that's not right. From PC, let's see here. From program counter, the from program counter, yeah, hmm. Uh, that doesn't make any sense at all. So this, here's the double pulse that I've been seeing. That doesn't quite make sense. Um, the PC increment means that the uh, counter gets fired on this rising edge here. Um, now there are no other two devices, I think, being well, I'm not looking at all of them, but hmm. this does looks very, very strange. Let's count the number of pulses here. We have um, obviously one, two. So this is our uh, first instruction, which is uh, move the PC counter to IO. And this is our second instruction, which is increment the PC counter. And then there should be 14 more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Yeah, so, and then it, it uh, repeats itself. So that is doing the right thing. Um, so everything seems to be okay, except for this from pulse. So I think um, we should take a look at the um, assembly code. Let's see here. Hopefully, you can read the small text. So, here it is. Here's the instructions from PC to IO, and then from PC. Oh. I do have from PC in there. Huh, why do I have that in there? Maybe I didn't like the default. The default would have been, uh, that's probably why I didn't like it. The default would be zero. So the way these work is these equates. I have a set of values for the lower nibble and a set of values for the higher nibble, and then I or them together. So this is high nibble, low nibble, high nibble, er, low nibble, high nibble, <laughs> low nibble, high nibble. So um, it would default if I if I didn't have this uh, from PC in there, it would default to zero, which would be a from RAM. Um, what I probably should do is put something I'm not using. Um, like from LED. I don't think it will hurt anything though. I, we're just asserting that onto the bus. So I don't think that will hurt. And then I have a bunch of no ops. So um, I really don't need this stuff. We can get rid of that. So uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. So this is just in case. Um, it just make sure that the rest of the uh, ROM is filled with uh, no ops. Um, and then I have a little uh, thing here that allows me to look inside the a blank chip, or not a blank chip, but I mean a chip. I could I could examine that chip and read out this, uh, see what program is in it. So this is just the name of the program encoded in there. So this looks okay. Um, the way that the no ops work is that it's equal to DD. DD is um, from 16 and to 215, from 15 and 215, which I'm not using anywhere. Um, those are values on the state machine, but I'm not using them. So that's how I do the no ops. 
and I had to call it noop1 because if I said noop, it would try to, it would actually try to compile. This is an 8080 assembler, would try to compile 8080 um, and noop 8080. Okay. Hmm. I don't know. It looks okay to me. Uh, let's go back here. Uh, that certainly would increment. And that certainly would uh, from PC. That, that would enable the output. And 2i would be a, a positive going edge. Hmm. Once again, everything looks great. <laughs> Once again, it doesn't work. Uh, so let me go back and look at it again. <laughs> 